What have you done with them? Um, they're here. Okay. Just gonna make some cordage up a minute. How much you want? Here. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Here you go. Sweet. So we're all upgraded on our hunter garments, or on our trousers, I should say. Our outer garments? Outer garments, yeah, not undergarments. That's good. So. Thanks for doing that, excellent. Very cook up a few. Let's cook up some. That's a good point. I've gone running out the door. I haven't even looked at my stats. Okay. Yeah, I'm empty. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to die. Fine. Yeah. Well, I'm cooking up a little rabbit, so. I've put the garden beds on the roof. Yep, looking good. Unlike myself, looking terrible. Doubt that. Yeah, no, I am. I'm, I'm very, very hungry. Oh, <laughs> uh, right, yeah, well, same. <laughs> That's right. There's some rabbit here, hang on. I'm hanging. Two rabbits in the fridge. Oh, thanks. Better get back out there. Yeah. Grab a piece of kelp, go get some more kelp. Uh, what, how many arrows do I have? Oh, enough. Plenty. I hear you, bear. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Yep. Oh. 
So making those trousers sort of hammered out cloth deposits a bit, so... Yeah, that's right, I'll get some rabbits and stuffs. And other... Animals with skin. I haven't seen very many rabbits actually. I've seen loads of chickens, but uh, not, maybe I just haven't been looking for them. I don't know, but. Maybe it's like the boxes. If you start hunting the rabbits, they start turning up. I don't know. Well, I think a lot of time you go running through the forest and you just they're gone before you even see them. Yeah, you scare them away. It's pretty easy to do that. Big boots. Hmm. Oh, will you, will you? That sounds like more than one. What? Wolf or bear? There's a oh, there's a rabbit. Oh. Oh, there was more than one. Okay. He obviously wasn't that bothered by me. Unusual. Oh, I could hear. It just didn't sound right. It sounded like more than one growl. And mm. maybe he growled twice. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounded like one was coming from behind me and one was in front of me. So Ooh. I couldn't see. I couldn't see the other wolf. Voiced. Surrounded. Where did she go? Yes. I love the way they fall over. What, the wolves or the bears or what? Rabbits. Oh, rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're acting. Like they're, they're doing a part. They're acting as if they're dying. Like a footballer faking a foul. Yeah. <laughs> again.
Hmm. I wonder if I could outrun a wolf. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um. You don't have stamina. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> Making sure I do. Yeah, I reckon I could do it. Oh, I could use my pistol as well, so that'd be alright. You're going to do top yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the wolf don't get you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that'll be it. I'd rather it that way. <laughs> um. Lesser of the two evils. Mm. picking which direction I should run. I think the other direction is better. Obviously. Oh, it is normally a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Opposite direction to the wolf is also quite a good idea. That's, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's... Uh, yeah. Okay, that's not... Nope. <clears throat> I wasn't ready for that. Jeez, what a lovely day. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm, stunning. It's down here. <laughs> Are you in the water? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I just want to do some self-preservation. Yeah.
okay, I've made a refinery. Oh, very good. Use the old clothing? No. I'm not even going to try and explain that. <laughs> the finery, I mean. The, the laser do, do be furky thing. Yeah, I know what you meant, yeah. Yeah, he knows what it is. He knows what it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, penny stopped. Oh. Ha ha ha. Don't drown yourself. I've already almost... done it twice. Yeah, I did it <laughs> once when I was kelp diving. Yeah, breathing water's not very good for you. If you're fish, it's okay. Characters in the game are not particularly attractive, but I wouldn't call them fish faces. No. Loads of steaks in the fridge, by the way. Oh, good, thanks. Anybody <laughs> need any cooked meat? Yeah, cool. I've got a couple of steaks and some rabbits and chickens, so it should help. I've got four kelp. That's something. Okay. Hmm, that's all I got. I'm sure you got like a hundred by now. Because they I seem wish. to, they seem to, uh, yeah, appear for you, but, uh... I, I just ate seven. Oh. <laughs> Which is all I found, and it's, well, it's nearly filled it up. No, that's good, yeah. Only for, only for it to fall back down again. Yeah. That fast? Wow, that's not good. Well, no, not quite that fast. But it does go down quickly, though. I mean, I think I don't know if kelp lasts as long. It's I know it makes you thirsty. I know that. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. You find your water level drops. Not not a huge amount, but just a little bit. After eating seven, it might. Why does, it start go Why does it start going off when you're still in the water? Yeah, that doesn't make sense at all. <clears throat> I would like to have a drum. Like, just an oil drum that you can fill with lake water and store kelp in it. Or grow your own. Yeah. Grow your own, yeah. In like a water tank type of thing. Yeah. Kelp, kelp farm. Mm-hmm. Why not? 
There are such things on the planet. What a bloody good idea. You need to let them know. That is a good idea. <laughs> um. We want him to do plumbing next. Of course. Well, that would be more civilised, you know. Well, we do have indoor plumbing in the game to a degree. Because you can make radiators. Yeah. That's true. Mm. So it doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Really? No. Oh, well, it could be oil-filled radiators. Uh, yeah, I suppose they could be, yeah. Where did we get the oil from? Fish, fish oil. oil. Okay. Oh, that fish oil does everything, doesn't it? Yep. Amazing no. stuff. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't run a generator. That's true. Only, yeah, biofuel does that. Yeah. Mm. Right, I'm making some doors. Lovely. Put wood in, put wood in hole. Yeah. Okay, there. Okay, Man, I'm at it again. I've got 41 grubs on me. Bloody hell, you've been a grub hoarder. I know. Oh, you do that a lot. Got grubby pockets. In my personal game, honestly, in my personal game, I've got like 400. It's like... In your pocket? No, not in my pocket, no. But... I was going to say, that's really bad. It's madness. Mm. This is chap line, he says to the girls, do you want to see my grubs? Yeah. So, yeah. It works every time. They run away. Yeah. Oh, they do. They've got any sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a door. So civilised. It's very nice. Oh, huh? shut the bloody thing out. It's cold. Hey, hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people would think that was rude, but not me. <laughs> four, we've got four more cotton seeds oh jeez I'll tell you what brilliant right. what are we doing for Lecky? now I was going out to get water I forgot why I was going out here I got it I got it I got the door it's all right Six sinew now. We'll be needing some rope, won't we? Something uh, to do with our clothing, right? For jackets, yes. For the winter jackets, but we're we're, we're going to need twelve altogether. Twelve padded mm. cloth, eighteen cotton. Should go and get a coogs. <clears throat> that would help a bit, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, we're, we're a long way away from it, from anywhere near that with a padded cloth and stuff. So we, just we don't need it that at the moment, no. I guess. Get the cotton up. Yep. Okay.
hung out then. Need some arrows. Oh, still got a few nails, that's good. Plenty of nails, I think. Mm. <coughs> Just making some more sticks. It's quite cool today. It's only 23 degrees today. Oh, lovely. and Very cool. Mm. So, have you still... Are you guys still... When did the heat wave end? I mean, I know it went on for a while, um, didn't it? Well, it, it, it hasn't yet. It's going to start getting hot again, apparently. Ugh. So, our day of 40 degrees was warm. I bet. God. In fact, I, well, you know, I always, when I do my shopping, I always get a case of water. Yeah. When I was having all my parts delivered for the computer, yeah. Um, every Amazon driver that turned up, I said, oh, mate, I'll do your swap. He gave me the package, I gave him a bottle of water. Oh, yeah, good. Nice. And there wasn't, like, straight out of the fridge, there wasn't one of them that refused it. <laughs> they were all like, oh, mate, you are a godsend. <laughs> oh, it must be horrible, yeah. Driving around in that van all day has got to be, isn't it? Yeah, and they're not in the van for very long to use the air conditioner. No. They're in and out, you know, so... Not good. Unlikely to have air conditioning in the UK as well, in, in vans. Really? Yeah. No. No, 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 no. that's not right. Uh, unlikely, depend, depending on, on the company and depending on the age of the vans, it's very unlikely. Well, they're all self-employed over here. Are they? Okay. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you, know, you get very few Amazon vans that there's, I've never, in fact, I've only ever seen a couple. Mm. Or yeah. daybreak. So, um, could, so could well be older vans and, yeah. Yeah, they're just contracted. No, most of them are fairly new. And, um, and most vans these days have air, air con. I thought they did, yeah. The standard yes. sort of comes stock. Yeah, UK though. I mean, they're very. It was only top end spec stuff that was getting aircon. Yeah, yeah, it was at one point. Yeah, it's just about everything now. Yes. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I've been there for a while, but yeah. When I left there, there was you'd go and buy a transit van unless you bought the top spec one. You wouldn't have aircon in it. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's here, everything's got aircon in it. And it's only the top spec ones that have actually got heating in it. <laughs> mm. It doesn't get that cold over there, though, Lost, does it? For, for me, no. I think the coldest I've ever known it is 19. Yeah, that's not cold. It's that's, not cold. That's, that's actually comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah that's, deck, that's deck chair weather over here, mate. Well, but, it's a few degrees above deck chair weather over here. Yeah, but the ties are walking around in hats and scarves and gloves. Really, gloves. Yeah, and I'm, I, don't know, I must admit, when it, you know, I was putting a jacket on at 19 degrees to ride a motorbike into work. Yeah, but that's just sensible, though, isn't it? That's safety. Well, no, 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 nobody wears helmets. Everybody just rides in shorts and t-shirt here. Sounds really safe. Yeah. But I, I never did when I wore the big bikes. But even you know, when I was riding a scooter, in in the cooler weather, yeah, I'd put a jacket on because it was bloody cold. Mm. <laughs> when you when you were you know, going through the air, it felt cold. And and to be honest, when it gets to nineteen degrees, I'm I wouldn't say I'm feeling cold, but I'm certainly not feeling warm. Mm. You know, it's sort of on that 
cusp. I've been here for so long now, I'm used to it, but... I know when I worked in Bangladesh, and it went down to 9 degrees... Bloody freezing! <laughs> yeah, that would be cold. I'd find yeah. that cold. I'd find that really cold. Yeah, 9 degrees is not particularly cold in the UK. No, I guess I'm it's in not. Short, I'm in shorts at 9 degrees. No... Uh... Oh, I am. I'm in shorts all year. All year. I don't care what the weather says. Good circulation. Well, no, I, I, honestly, I'll be out at Christmas, like, freezing. Or the, the temperature's freezing, apparently. I'm still in my shorts. <laughs> I've never... You've got to be honest. When have you ever heard anybody say, oh, my legs are cold? Well, yeah. Uh, listen, I understand that. It's, that's true. Yeah. Uh, there, there are young teenage girls that walk around here in the middle of winter, which it kind of is now. And they've got shorts and a jumper on and thongs. And I'm like, what? What What temperature are you preparing for? I don't... Everything. Yeah, what temperature is it, though? It was usually about 10 or 12 degrees. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's freezing. It's not freezing. It's for us. <gasps> not compared to the UK, it's not, yeah. I used to, I used to sort of say the same thing, you know, see... The the tyres going, oh, it's cold. No, it's not bloody cold. Yeah. Depends on what you're used to, really, it does. Yeah, but you do soon get used to it, that's the thing. Mm. You know, you, your body does acclimatise to it eventually. It does, yeah. I mean, it's like 40 degrees. I mean, today it was 38 degrees. And that's normal for here. You know, can go higher, 45 but the worst thing here is we get high humidity, very yeah. high humidity, and that's that makes you feel hot. Ugh, it's horrible. Whereas to the UK, when it's forty degrees, it probably feels hotter in a way though because it's dry heat, isn't it? I don't know, I'm sitting in front of a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Depends where you are in. The UK in the living room, that's where I was. Yeah. <laughs> there you went, you were in the bloody pub. <laughs> oh, that's true, actually. I was, yeah. I did go now, down to the pub that day. Now, do they have air conditioning in the pubs? Yeah, let the doors open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let the breeze come in, yeah. It's called a beer garden. <laughs> yeah. How do you put air conditioning in an 18th century hotel? In the window? Carefully. Oh, no, 17, 17th century, actually, it would be. Do they have fans? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Chelsea fans, Liverpool fans. <laughs> Lots of football fans. You just <laughs> don't get it, do you? Ceiling fans. Yeah. Uh, no, actually. Not even any ceiling fans in there. Hmm. But it's, um... But it's one of the coldest pubs you'll ever walk into. Thick old walls. Those are the bricks. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, he pulled up. And we normally have a little bit of a breeze anyway if you've got the doors open. Yeah. yeah. I do like beer gardens though, they're quite nice. Uh, yeah. I don't mind sitting out in a beer garden. It makes your beer taste a bit weird after a while. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Well, I've always thought so, yeah. Some people say not. Is it because it cools it down? Because I know you guys like hot beer, don't you? God, no. Give me hot beer. That's, that's what we're always told. That, yeah, English, they they love their warm beer. Well, your, your, your original bitter. class beer is like bitter. It's, yeah, it's, it's room temperature. Room temperature, yeah. But you say that, it's not even room temperature. No, it's cellar, cellar temperature. temperature. Yeah, which is a bit cooler. But your lagers, it's lot, no. It's not too long. <laughs> your no, lagers, lagers, no. No, no, they're, they're no, 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 no. They run through the first flash cooler, um, which is down in the cellar. Mm. Um, and you have another flash cooler under the bar. Right. Yeah, then they have the extra cool stuff now, don't they? Well, yeah, but no, we've also got a um, a glass fridge that you put your glasses in. Also, they're frosty. Oh. Yeah. 
that's nice. Yeah. Salmon. Oh my god. Not easy to find draft beer here. When you do find it, it's expensive. It's all bottled. You'll see it at right events. So, have you ever brewed your own beer, Doc, or...? What for? I have it delivered. Okay. Well, you see. Why, why would you then? That's right. Yeah, exactly. What's the, what's the friggin' point? Just saying. Uh, no, I haven't. No. I, I've tried it. It was never that successful. It's quite tricky, apparently, isn't it? My dad used to brew beer. I, I could do stout. Mm. But lagers and that just never tasted that, right. Isn't stout the black one? Yeah. Yeah. Is that burned? Is that how you could do it? Because you could burn it? Just different. <laughs> burn your beer. Yeah, uh, anyone else could do that. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can burn it. If, you, if you're doing it, cooking it, you can burn it, yeah. Really? I was yeah, joking. Yeah. You can burn right. the hops, yeah. Well, Guinness, this roasted hops, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think I think they are. But I mean, I just made them at using the, the, the kits, but... Yeah. The lagers always tasted a bit yuck. But the, um, the stout was okay. Leave it to the experts, hey? Yeah, yeah. that's what I say. That's what they're too there much, for. Too much freaking hassle, really. Yeah, why do it when there are people out there really passionate about it that do a great job? So. I had, um, I can't remember his first name. I want to say Ian, but I think Ian is his brother. Anyway, one of the Healy brothers. You know that, um, the wicketkeeper for Australia? You know, only yeah. the record old in wicket and keeper. It's his brother bear. anyway. Cricket, yeah. He came into the um he came into the pub one day and um he was having a look sort of across the bar to see what we sold. And he looked at me and went, Fuck me, mate, you got V B <laughs> I went, uh yeah. I didn't know who he was, obviously. I went yeah. He said, is it really cold? I said, well, it's been in the fridge all night, so yeah, I suppose it's going to be pretty cold. So, uh, yeah, because we did. We s we sold VB. Yeah. It was, yeah. That's crap beer. Yeah, it is, yeah. Mm. We didn't sell a lot of it. No. <laughs> well, we did, actually, when we first got it in, obviously, because everybody sort of, um, everyone's got to try it, haven't they? Oh, yeah, it's novelty. But it's something different, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then it was back to the Fosters. Mm -hmm. I don't mind Fosters actually. I like a nice pint of Fosters. I like it. And on a mm. on a warm day, I quite like it. We don't have it here anymore. Do you not? No. I think they sold out to uh, another company or another country bought it out. I don't know. It's not here anymore. Bass. Um, not Bass. Whoever owns Courage is now own it. Mm. Um, because it was brewed on license over here, but it's not anymore. It's just brewed over here. Is it Allied Breweries or something? Um, I don't know. Uh, mm. No, it's not Allied. Quite like Coney oh. as well. I don't mind Cronenberg, yeah. It's a nice pint. I don't, I don't tend I don't to drink like it when I go out, though. Because it's a premium beer and I get pissed too quick. Yeah, that's the problem with them. That and the old wife beater. What? Stella Artois? Yeah. Stella wife Artois. Be I call it wife, wife beater. Wife beater. Do they really? Wow. Mm. Yeah, cause guys have got often to get hammered on it and go home and have a bit of a barney with the missus. Sounds real appropriate. Oh. Well, it is. It's um, the silly thing is, if you have it in Belgium, it's um, it's perfectly fine, and it's a really nice pl pint actually in Belgium. If um, if you have it over here, it 
too many chemicals it's crap and it does make people aggro yeah it does yeah it definitely does um, that's why it's called life beer yeah, yeah what, do I mean, they put, I, what are they putting in it then I, I have know. I've had friends if they get you know they can have a lot of crony or a lot of fosters they're fine but a few pints of Stella and they're really aggro weird isn't it yeah yeah it is yeah it's chemicals I would imagine yeah it is yeah just stay away from it just don't drink the stuff I don't like the taste of it to be honest no nor do not, I not not the English Stella Belgium Stella's nice I've never had it in Belgium but it's not nice. well um you can get Belgium Stella in bottles. Right. And if you have a bottle of Belgium Stella next to a bottle of English Stella, it's chalk and cheese. And I, I mean chalk and cheese. Yeah. But it's like San Miguel beer. Get it over here, or you buy it, or you get it in Spain. Totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Spain, it's delicious. Over here, it's crap. Yeah, it's not that good. Would that really, be to, to do with the water? Because different countries it's have different water quality and filtration lot, systems and stuff. A lot of it is to do with the water. Yeah, yeah that's what I reckon. That's why Guinness is um, very difficult to brew outside of Ireland. Ah. Uh, you can't buy English Guinness anymore. No? I thought no. They, were making a, they were making a new brewery in London. No. That was... Um, well, Guinness might have been making a new brewery in London, but it wasn't for Guinness, I can assure you. The, um, all Guinness in it now is um, Dublin. But also, Guinness doesn't travel well either. Well, it comes all the way from Dublin and it still tastes alright, so... Yeah, but to England, but it doesn't travel much further than that. No, no, I don't think it would, no. I mean, I wouldn't want to try and get a keg of Guinness and take it to the States or... We or have it Ireland, here. It? We have it here. Yeah. Yeah, but yours is brewed there, though, isn't it? I don't know. It might be actually. Yeah, maybe it is. I don't know how much truth's in it, but I did hear at one time that because of it relies so much on the water that the, when it was brewed outside of Ireland, they actually transported water to the countries it was going to be brewed in. Oh, that'd be expensive. Yeah, but Guinness itself doesn't travel well. Yeah. So the water probably travels better than the Guinness. It's off bear. Yeah, I actually think there's some truth in that, actually, the water thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, I did read, I don't know whether I read it or heard it or might have watched the documents, I don't know. But it's, it's some, I, I've heard about that they were exporting it because of the fact it doesn't travel well. Well, anything's possible. I mean, people love it, so... Not Marmite, innit? You either <sighs> love it or you hate it. Exactly. Uh, I mean, I've had... You know, Guinness in Ireland, and I've also had... When it was brewed in England, Guinness in England. And it does taste different. But Guinness in Ireland... Oh, it is, definitely tasted different, yeah. It's delicious. From Ireland is absolutely delicious beer. It's very fresh too, it would be. Not my cup of tea. Not mine either. I can't, I can't, I couldn't say I could go and sit and drink it all night in a pub, but I would, quite occasionally would order a pint of Guinness for my first drink. And then I'd go on to drink something else after, but. Is it higher in alcohol? Um, um, yeah, it's premium strength, isn't it? It's, just premium, so it's yeah. just probably just under five. Four right. eight, is it? Four eight five, yeah, something around those. I can't remember now. Yeah, it I is. Had Twenty-one pints of it one night. Oh god, that sounds like a lot. Not of anything? Pints. Of anything? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, it was. Well, it wasn't in one night. It was across the whole day, and it was St Paddy's Day. And, and it was Steve green, and it was okay. You... Well, we were oh. in the Green Dragon, so, yeah. Oh, well, there you go. You had to do it then. Question. I got absolutely fucking hammered. I bet you did. Yeah. This is a puke. Yeah, 
absolutely. I don't know where that saying came from either. Where the hell would that saying come from? Um, I don't know. There's obviously a story behind it. There is. But it's not one that I know. Mm. No, I don't know either. Oh, really? I live at the home. I, my town where I live is um is actually the home of Courage's. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Well, it's not now, because the brewery's just been knocked down. It's been made into houses and flats now. Courages were out of here quite a long time ago. They sort of lost interest. They had a son. Um, boom, 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 I want to call him Pierre. I think it is Pierre Courage. Um, he died at Zandvoort. Um... He was an F1 driver. Oh, yeah, and he was the um, he was the heir to the Courage dynasty throne, whatever you want to call it. And um, Harold, yeah, di Harold. died in an yeah died in an F F1 crash at Zandvoort. Years and oh. years ago. Hmm. Must be a long time ago. Um, sixties. Yeah. Yeah, Zandvoort. It's back on the calendar now. Zandvoort. Yes, it is, yes, from last year. We haven't got a workbench, have we? No. Should work towards that. Yeah. We need to make more mass. Yeah, we do. We'll need other mass storage as well. But we've got enough mass storage to make oh, have it. Have we? Oh, good. We just don't have <coughs> enough mass. <coughs> All right, yeah. I mean, it's not expensive to make. It's only ten planks, electrical, and that's sort of. But it's seven fifty power and one hundred twenty mass. I've put the jennies back on. Uh, yes. He dropped petrol for the tractor. Got the shotgun shells in there. Ah, oh, thank you. That wife beater, wolf beaters. Indeed. Mm. That's what we need. Oh, there's a lot of tomatoes ready up here. That's great. Yeah, all ready as well. Blimey. I uh, got stuck in the garden. So. Green, oh. Uh, potatoes are nearly ready. So let's plant some more tomatoes. Tomatoes. Eat one of them. That's what. That's weird.
Whoops, it went in the drink. Oh. It's lucky. I, I, I uh, got a chicken with an arrow and it flipped and went into the water. I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> Did I float? Yeah, sort of. Sort of uh, just under the water. Depends. If his name's Bob, you're all right. Mm-hmm. I didn't ask his name, but uh... oh, what's the name of the chicken in Miss Survival? Does it have a name? Yeah. Oh, right. Bobby, I think. I think it's Bobby. Bobby the chicken. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Do you kill that chicken or is it a pet? Either or. All right. Yeah, I've got that game, but I've never really played it. It was good. Until it wasn't. That's what I've heard, yeah. I like watching it. Oh, no, no, not missed. missed. No, I'm thinking of the other one. Infected. Yeah. I've got that as well. No, missed, I like I the don't. Infected. No, Mister's. Um, it was excellent. Mm. And then he decided that he was going to make a new map and that's right. Change everything. And um, I tried it, and I miss it because it was a re it was a really good game. The building in it was brilliant. Mm. But um, in fact, I should have a look at it really because it's just had another update. So he I missed should. it. Have a look. He, he missed it. He missed it. Yeah. Uh, do you read a book of dad jokes before you? I mean, before uh, you come in, I don't. I uh, don't need to read a book. Just got a head full of them. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, you know them all anyway, so. I just have to choose the appropriate ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the inappropriate ones. Are you chasing a pig around somebody? No. no. Well, it's going the same way I am. Oh. <laughs> That's just a coincidence. Yeah. By the way, I would have ridden him home. Yeah. <laughs> would be a lot faster. Mm. I'm heading back to base now with everything. So it's all good. Did you replant the tomatoes in the... Yep. Bed? Excellent. And the potatoes. Oh, great. Well, that's right, there's two um, health packs each to carry with you. Yep. Forgot we made them. There was something missing in my lowdown. Mm. Quite nice up here, on the roof. Mm. Red sky. March. 
Chef. That bug. Yeah, it did. I don't know why. That's twice that's happened. Is your mouse button sensitive and you're catching your mouse button? No. They so do just break. Just they do just break on their own. I know that. <clears throat> they can. Yeah, yeah. obviously right. it's happened twice. Yeah. I'm chicken up some cooking. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, how many chickens have I got? Jeez. That wasn't a chicken. That was a rabbit. That was too. I've got a few it's chickens a and rabbit. rabbits. Got both. Yeah, that was a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think I don't know the difference? Yeah, yeah. It might have been a rabbit doing an impression. It could have been. It could have been, yeah. It's actually a possible. A ventriloquist. <laughs> oh, brother. All right. right. There's two pieces of chicken all mixed in with that cooked chicken mixed in with raw chicken. That's really. That food seems hygiene. wrong. Mm. I don't have the raw chicken above the cooked chicken. Mm. That might drip down. Exactly. We don't like that. Like no. that? Okay. Oh, I got a match. Dark near. Here we go. I know. I know the joke. I was going to say anything. My bum, your face, we know it. Yes, we know it well. <laughs> oh. See, now he's coming out with the dad jokes. Yeah. Yeah, that's an oldie we, bit we, of goldie. We didn't say nothing. No, you didn't. Didn't have to. Um, lights. There we go. Oh, wow, finally. Jeez, I need to eat something. Dying. I'm all 100%, so. Excellent. All right. I'll just grab something to eat. Oh, tomatoes. Oh, my God. All right. So, um, yeah, I think we'll call it there. Right, you're, you're still fishing, Doc? Yeah. I'm just reeling in now. What did you catch? Something big? Nothing. Oh, bugger. I just had nothing. Never mind. Although the salmon does help. Yeah, that's true. Which I'll fill it right now and put it in the fridge. Alright, so we'll call it there and... Uh... So I hope everyone enjoyed this episode of Subsistence Multiplayer and um, if you did, hit the like button. Even better, subscribe and uh, pop into Dr. Realgood's uh, gaming channel and check his videos out. He does subsistence as well and other goodies. So, um, mm. yeah, and uh, so it's goodbye from me and Loz. Goodbye. And Doc. Thank you, sweetheart. No worries. Be, be lucky. Yes. All right. See you guys. Bye.